Hello all. So now we are moving to the next question. The problem is a square pyramid of side 40 mm and height 50 mm is resting on the ground plane such a way that all the edges are equally inclined to the picture plane. One of the corners of the base touching the picture plane. The station point is 80 mm above the ground plane, 60 mm in front of the picture plane and contained in the central plane which passes through the axis of the pyramid draw the perspective view of the pyramid this is the question so a square pyramid is placed on the ground in such a way that it is equally inclined to the picture plane and one of the coordinates is touching the picture plane so how can we place that square pyramid suppose if this is your square pyramid this is equally inclined to picture plane and one of the edge corner is touching the picture plane means uh, in the top view you can see it as a diamond right in the top view you can see the square pyramid as a diamond uh, with the corner touching the picture plane if this is your picture plane if this is your picture plane that square pyramid of side 40 can be placed like this okay which means you can take this point then at an inclination of 45 degree you can draw 140 another 40 you can complete this square pyramid square top view of the square pyramid and name this as a b c d and since it is pyramid you can complete like this o1 and o2 so in the top view you can see the pyramid as a diamond then what about the front view in the front view first we have to obtain the ground line right so it is given that station point is 80 above and 60 in front of so 80 plus 60 140 so at a distance of more than 140 you have to draw the ground line so at a distance of 140 more than 140 draw the ground line then you have to project this so that this will be c dash a dash b dash d dash o1 dash and at a height of 50 you can obtain o2 dash so that you can complete the front view of the square prism like this so the front view also has been completed now we have to look at the central plane so it is given that the central plane is passing through the axis of the pyramid so we know that this is the axis so this will be the central plane so we have located the central plane now where is station point station point is 80 above so if this is 80 this will be sp dash and 60 in front of so this will be sp so station point is also obtained now connect sp with the b since b is touching the picture plane this will be capital b perspective will be the front view itself connect sp with a so this will be a1 sp with c so this will be c1 sp with d so this will be d1 this will be o11 this will be o22 o21 connect sp dash with a dash connect sp dash with c dash sp dash with d dash sp dash with o2 dash and sp dash with o1 dash now draw a perpendicular from a so this will be capital a draw a perpendicular of project c1 so this will be this will be somewhere here this will be capital c so a b c and c has been obtained now we have to obtain d so how can we obtain d c as we land connect sp with d so that we will get d1 connect sp dash with d so that we will get sp dash d dash from d from d1 draw a vertical line but while drawing a vertical line from d1 like this we can see that uh, this projector line and the sp dash d dash is the same line so that uh, we cannot obtain any intersection between these two lines have you understood see this is d1 from d1 draw a vertical line from sp dash draw connect sp dash and d dash but we can see that these two lines are same line so that we 
cannot obtain any intersection then how can we obtain capital D see the method is draw a horizontal line through D of any length and name it as E comma F this means it is a it is a top view of a line EF and we can also obtain the front view as E dash and F dash since D is here lying here this is EF then E dash F dash also will be passing through the same point D so draw a horizontal line through the point D name it as EF this is the top view of the line the draw the same line E dash uh, uh, draw the front view of the same line e dash f dash which is which will be passing through the point d dash now this line can be drawn at any length as your wish now we can draw the perspective view of this line how can we draw connect sp with e so that this will be e1 connect sp with f so this will be f1 connect s p dash with e dash connect s p dash with f dash now draw a vertical from f1 which meet here intersect here draw a vertical line from e which intersect here in the line s p dash e dash which means this is the projector this is the perspective projection of the line e f now we know that d contained in the line e f d contained in this line so since ef is the perspective of the line ef d will be on lying this line as well as on this line which means this will be capital d so we have obtained d so we can connect a b b c c d and d a now now we have to obtain two more points o1 and o2 where will be O1? O1 also will be lying in the same line and it is connecting A and C, right? Assume this AC as a line and do the same procedure as before. We will, we can see that O1 will be the lying at the connection point of AC. So, this will be O1. Similarly, O2 is also lying on the line AC. Okay in the top view as well as in the front view uh, in the top view so auto also will be auto will be lying in the this line also auto is lying on the line ac okay so this is ac o1 and o2 will be o1 and o2 is lying in the line ac in the top view which means if we have the perspective of the line ac then o1 and o2 will be lying in the perspective of the line AC and in the in this line that means uh, the intersection of this line and the perspective of AC will give you O1 and O2 as we have obtained D similar to we have obtained the point D which means this will be O1 and O2 so this will be the projection of the square pyramid so the only difference in this question with the previous one was as the central plane is passing through the axis we can obtain b as it is touching the picture plane so that will be the same same in the front view we can obtain a c as we explained before but we cannot obtain d because the connection of s p d we obtain d1 so the vertical passing through the line d1 and s p dash d dash are the same line so that we cannot obtain any intersection point so for that we draw a line horizontal line passing through the point d and name it as ef which means that is the front top view of a line passing through the point d name it as ef the same line can be obtained in the front view so that it will be passing through the point d dash and the project this end point so we will get e dash and f dash now what we have to do is draw the perspective of the line EF so sim connect SP with the EF so that you will get E1 and F1 draw a connect SP dash with the E dash and F dash draw perpendicular from E1 and F1 so that we have obtained the perspective of EF the line EF so this is the perspective of EF now we know that 
the point D is lying in this line as well as in this line. So that uh, the intersection of the perspective of EF and this line will give you D. So we have obtained D. Similarly, we have can obtain O1 and O2 because through O1 and O2 we already have a line AC. This line AC we have obtained in perspective also. This is A, this is C. So this is the perspective of AC. So this intersection with the vertical will give you O1 and O2. Okay. Now we can complete the dimensions. This is 40, this height is 50, this is 80 and this is 60. Okay. So I hope all of you have understood this question. Thank you.